I'm Mary Hartnett with Siouxland Public Media News. Second District Republican Congresswoman Ashley Hinson held a teleconference this morning where she called for solidarity across Washington in support of Israel. Hinson criticized lawmakers who have yet to unequivocally denounce Hamas. She also called for a refreeze of the $6 billion released to Iran as part of September's prisoner swap. The Republican congresswoman said she is optimistic that Washington can unify in support of Israel as the conflict escalates. There is wide bipartisan support in Congress for Israel, and so I'm hopeful we can come together, put politics and disagreements on other issues aside, and then show our friends We're going to stay true to our word and get them what they need. Those remarks come as the Republican-led House is in the process of electing a new speaker. The death toll in Israel currently includes 25 Americans. The commander of Sioux City's 185th refueling wing is urging governors from the tri-state area to advocate for a new runway. It's a project, she says, is long overdue and needed to keep the unit viable. The expected cost for improvements is around $185 million. Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds says she's been working with the state's federal delegation to get the Air Force to upgrade the facility. Make sure that they continue to allocate the funding that has been promised to the Air Force here so we, we're going to do everything we can to follow through with that. Reynolds made her comments yesterday at the Tri-State Governors Conference in Sioux City. Almost 20 years ago, the 185th transitioned from F-16 fighter jets to refueling tankers. And the runway isn't long or wide enough to allow the planes to take off fully fueled. And Governor Reynolds has just announced her appointment of Hunter Thorpe as a district associate judge in Judicial District 2B. Thorpe is an assistant county attorney at the Boone County Attorney's Office. Thorpe fills a vacancy created following the retirement of Stephen Van Merrill and a proposed merger between I was Unity Point Health, operator of Unity Point Health St. Luke's and other clinics in Sioux City, and New Mexico based Presbyterian Healthcare Services has fallen through. Unity Point did not indicate why the deal collapsed. That's Siouxland Public Media News. I'm Mary Hartnett.